One of my absolute favorite things about going to backyard barbecues are the side dishes. And I'm gonna show you how to make my absolute favorite pasta salad recipe. You are gonna love it. It is jam packed with meat, vegetables, and a delicious homemade balsamic vinaigrette. I believe pasta salad should be much more about the ingredients that you incorporate into the noodles than just the pasta itself. I want it to be hearty, flavorful, and filling. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. This is an old recipe, maybe 25 years old, kind of my family recipe. I put a few tweaks on it just to make it that much better. But first, we're gonna knock out a little prep. Sound good? Let's cook. We're gonna start off by cooking off our fusilli noodles. When it comes to making pasta salad, it's gonna be all about timing. So go ahead and grab those, go over to your cooktop. I have a large pot of boiling water. I'm gonna add some salt. We wanna season it well so that it tastes just like the ocean. Now add your noodles in, and then as soon as I add any noodles into some boiling water, I immediately put a spoon in there and begin to move things around. If you do this at the beginning, that will help so things don't stick together. Once they are cooked, maybe after seven to eight minutes, we are gonna drain them very well into that pot. I'm going over to the sink immediately because we need to chill them down. They are perfectly al dente right now and I wanna leave them where they're at. So be sure to cool them with some cold water or you could shock them in an ice water bath. Drain them off really well and now I'm going right over to a plastic zip bag. You could also use a plastic container if you'd like. Go ahead and empty the cooked cooled noodles right into that bag. And I'm going to immediately add on some olive oil. You could also use any of your favorite oils as well. This is going to help so that the noodles don't stick together. So once it's in there, close the bag, start to move everything around so that the noodles become coated and then add it in the refrigerator and keep cool. Now, yes, you can absolutely use different types of noodles. You can use farfalle, which are bow tie, cavatelli, even penne. I like fusilli, I like that sort of spiral shape on there, but please feel free to use whatever noodle maybe you even have already in your cupboard or anything that's on sale, but make sure it's a short noodle. A long noodle will not work here. Now for everything else. We're gonna start back by making a homemade vinaigrette. What I've got here is a shallot. We're gonna slice off the end, slice it in half, peel off that outside layer, and then we want to very small dice this. We don't want big chunks of shallots in our vinaigrette. Next, I've got some fresh basil that we are going to roughly chop. You could also use fresh thyme if you'd like in this recipe. That would also be really tasty. Add it to the bowl with your shallots, and then we're going to add in some Dijon mustard. That's because oil does not like vinegar. This is going to help emulsify them and bring them together for some sweetness, some sugar, and yes, you could use honey as well. Now I've got some really good balsamic vinegar that I'm gonna add right to the bowl and then begin to whisk everything together while slowly drizzling in some light olive oil or perhaps a sunflower or canola oil. You do this slowly so that everything becomes emulsified and a basic rule of thumb for ratio is three parts oil to one part vinegar. If you like it a little tangier, maybe two parts oil to one part vinegar. And just like anything, we want to season it up really well with sea salt and fresh cracked black pepper. And of course, grab your whisk because we want to whisk those in just to make sure all the ingredients are infused. Once it is together, we're going to set it to the side until it's time to plate up. And that's it. You just made a homemade vinaigrette. Super, super simple. One of my friends used to always say, if Paul Newman can make a vinaigrette, so can you. Now the world is open so you can make the most flavorful vinaigrette you've ever had. And you can swap out vinegars, oils, ingredients in there. Now that you know the basic ratio, you are good to go. I've got a few different meats here, starting with some mortadella. Now, what I'm going to do is sort of julienne those. You could cut them into small squares, maybe half inch by half inch. You really just want them to be bite-sized pieces. We're going to do the same thing with some ham. I love the incorporation of ham into any pasta salad. If you're Italian, you know it's all about the ham and the pasta salad. Last but not least, I've got some salami. We're going to also julienne that. And some other really tasty meats that you could swap out with the ones I used or even add an addition. Maybe make this a really meat lover's pasta salad. You can add in capicola, a serrano ham, even prosciutto. will absolutely take this over the top. Now, let's slice up some veggies. 
Starting off with a cucumber, what I'm going to do is slice it in half and then I'm going to immediately grab a spoon because I'm going to scrape out all the seeds. I don't want my pasta salad to be watery and I feel like cucumbers really break down, especially after they're seasoned. So I immediately remove the seeds of them. I'm going to slice that long half in half and then I'm going to make little sort of half moons. So go ahead and slice them pretty thin, just like you see here. It's absolutely perfect. And next, I've got some assorted cherry and teardrop tomatoes that I'm just going to slice in half. You could also use regular vine-ripe tomatoes and cut them down to nice bite-sized pieces as well, just so they're easy to eat. Next, I've got some pepperoncinis. I love pepperoncinis. I'm going to thinly julie and these as well. Be sure not to use the stem. That's not going to be very good in there. It's obviously hard to eat because it's really hard. Set them to the side. And next, I've got some olives, some small green olives that have been stuffed with pimentos. I'm going to thinly slice these. You could probably buy these already sliced in a jar for me. I'm always trying to hone those skills. Next, of course, I've got some regular black olives. Going to thinly slice them just like the green olives. You could also use things like Kalamata olives or Queen olives. Make this work for you. Use ingredients that you love and that are in season. So obviously, that was a lot of different vegetables that I'm going to use in this pasta salad. But I want to let you know that you can absolutely add more or swap out. You can add in things like little broccoli florets, sliced squash or zucchini, even sun-dried tomatoes. You have to work with ingredients that are in season, that you like, and hopefully some things are on sale. When all of these things are in peak season, oh my gosh, it is so good. You start incorporating these little fundamental techniques and putting them into practice, like making a vinaigrette, how to properly make a pasta salad. You start doing these things and apply to all of your cooking. Oh my gosh, I know I always say it, but homemade food from scratch just tastes better. And when you do these things, It'll be better than the restaurants, better than the grocery stores. You'll never want to eat out again because everything you make at home is that much better. Now let's dress up our pasta salad. I've got an extremely large bowl and we're going to add in those chilled, oiled up fusilli noodles that we cooked off. Going to hit it with all of the julienne meats that we sliced up. And now I'm going to add in all of those wonderfully sliced vegetables that we prepped up. And because I forgot, I'm going to add in some small diced red onions. You could absolutely use yellow onions if you'd like. Next, we're going to hit it with some chiagine, which are really small mozzarella balls. If you can get them buffalo and imported, all the better. Now I'm going to add in some chiffonade fresh basil and just going to grate in some fresh Parmesan cheese. You could also use pecorino or if you've got some grated already, fantastic. We are, of course, are going to season it very well with sea salt and fresh cracked black pepper. And now we're going to dress our salad. And just like in my Caesar salad, we are going to dress the outside of the bowl. Because when we do this and then we mix it around, it will absolutely be coated in every crack and crevice of our pasta salad. Then using a rubber spatula, gently fold everything in once it's mixed. You know that it's time to plate up and, of course, in slow-mo. I've got a large, beautiful serving bowl that we're just going to add all of these wonderful ingredients into. You could absolutely use a platter or a very large plate. Now, to finish it off, I'm just going to add a few sprigs of fresh basil. You could go a little bit further and add on some chiffonade basil or some sliced green onions, but check out this beauty. I know it's something so simple, it's just pasta style, but there is a right way to do it with all of the right ingredients and making it as flavorful as possible. Be sure to like this video, definitely subscribe to my channel, check out this video, I promise it is so good. We'll see you on there.